classroom, Richard Curtis. Jason, pass that down, baby. Good to see you guys. You ready to do this? You got teachers over here that want to take that money. Don't let them. Don't let them. I'm just kidding. I didn't know what I said to those guys. Good to see you. Three red shirts are looking great, and so are you. Welcome to the show. How about this one, guys? Today, it's the students. Look at them over here, looking beautiful. And those teachers, not bad in red yourselves. Where are they from? It's John Hancock Demonstration School in LeBrum Middle School campus in Northeast Philadelphia. It is a beautiful spot if you've never been there. But today, they're in my classroom, where students and teachers are both getting graded. Hey, look at Philly in the house. I'm afraid to say it, because check them out. They know what's on the line. 500 big ones and bragging rights for these students to say they're smarter than their teachers. Let's go. We're jumping right into it. I'm a teacher and I'm calling it. Pop quiz. Oh, baby, it's game time. So grab those buzzers, guys. You're going to need them here. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, you get right. It's going to be 10 points for your score. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it wrong, your team's locked out. The other side can buzz in and steal those points. The questions are burning through these cards right now. Fingers on your buzzers. Let's go pop quiz. How many months are in a year? Mr. Kelly. 12. That's going to get you started. What is the name of Batman's clown-like nemesis who always has a smile on his face? This is Andreka. Joker. The Joker is right. When a substance reaches its melting point, it changes its state from solid to what? Katie. Liquid. Liquid's right. There you go, students. In basketball, what is the term for a pass that directly leads to a teammate's basket? Mr. Pinzeroni. Assist. Assist is right. What is two fists as a percentage? Here we go, Mr. Kelly. 40%. 40% is right. Gets you guys up to 40 points. In the classic story, The Three Little Pigs, what animal tries to blow their houses down? Katie. Uh, the, big, the Big Bad Wolf. I had you on it. Nicely done there. Good job. How about this? I'm going to follow this up with an extra credit, guys. Here's 20 points on the line. According to a popular myth, a pot of gold is found at the end of what weather phenomenon, Mr. Kelly? A rainbow. A rainbow is right. What town in Alabama was the original capital of the Confederate States during the Civil War? Mr. Kelly. Montgomery. Montgomery's right. What is the first and last name of the first African American to become president of the United States? Jason. Barack Obama. Madhu. What literary character was created by Geppetto the woodcarver? Mr. Pinzeron. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is right. In which U.S. state would you find the Petrified Forest National Park? Mr. Kelly. California. For the Steel students, free guess here. Buzz in if you know it. Free guess. You could have said any state in the world. Oh. Arizona. And I would have taken it. That's a round, guys. Nicely done. How about it? Teachers, 80 points for you guys. That is a quick start. Students with 30. Nancy is our eighth grade captain over here. It's good to see you guys. Nancy, you're the captain, but Jason, you're going to tell me where the 500's going. If you guys win it, you got to take this money and put it somewhere. Where's it going to be? We're going to be getting a Gaga pit. Oh, man. okay. Time out. First of all, are you good at Gaga? Um, I, mean, I would say I'm pretty good. All right. So if people at home who don't know what a Gaga is, it's like basically taking recess by storm. It's the brand new thing. It's basically you just hit a ball at each other, right? Yeah. It's like bullying, but allowed to bully each other. It's fantastic. <laughs> and I love that you're putting the money there. So that's good stuff, guys. And uh, our captain over here. Is it Pinzeroni or Pinzerone? It depends on what parent you ask. Uh, <laughs> nicely done. I like that. Okay, cool. So where's your money going to go? Uh, I was going to Comedy Sports oh, Assembly. Perfect. Awesome. So hopefully you get something for the kids going there. Yes. Love that. All right, guys. They seem so friendly. Do you like the kids a lot? Yeah. Do you I mean, mind throwing a few in detention right now? Yeah. All right, well, let's play. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, put your buzzers down. You're not going to need them on this one. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. So students, get ready. We're going to start with you. You'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass. If you choose to play, answer the question correctly. You get to send your teacher to detention. It feels really good. You smile a whole lot. and You laugh at them as they walk over to detention. But look out, Nancy. You could end up there yourself if you get it wrong. So be very careful. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. Get everybody over there. It's 40 points added to your score. Students, we can get right back into this thing. And we're going to start with you, so let's do it right now. Your category, social studies. Talk about it as a group. Okay. No. 
<laughs> We're saying no. We don't want anything to do with social studies. Got it? Before they turned to wood, what reed plant did the ancient Egyptians use to make boats? is right there you go guys tough pass students would you have gotten that they didn't know it so they had a good pass there it was a good pass all right teachers you get to send a student into detention who's it going to be katie katie all right are out of there seventh grader katie is look you got some time to study your book so i hope you brought something with you all right teachers we're going to stay with your category at science do it. Yeah. Play. Okay, here you go. What do we call the pointy formations that grow upwards from the floor of a cave and are produced by hardening of minerals in dripping water? Stalagmites. Stalagmites. That's going to do it. Okay, they're two for two. Wow. Teachers are on fire, 80 points, and they're about to take a commanding three-person to one lead. Who's it going to be, guys? Bye, Nancy. Nancy is gone. <laughs> Let it be known. Jason, I guess I'm coming over to you. You were, you were pleading for them not to leave you by yourself, and now you're here by yourself. Just wanted to let you know, you got this, all right? The world believes in you. You can do it. Here you go, man. Your category is animals. Yes. You're gonna take it? Yes. That's my man. Here you go. What is the only bird that can fly backward and forward without relying on the wind? Pigeon? A pigeon is not gonna do it. I thought you had it, Jason. It was hummingbird, man. Hummingbird. I don't want to do it, but I have to. You're going to detention. And teachers, 40 points gets added up to 120 on the total for the day here. All right, nicely done. You guys are on fire right now. The red it says it all. Don't go anywhere, guys. Some of our contestants will be showing off their drawing skills. We'll see how well they do when you come back. Today, the students and teachers from LeBrum Middle School from Northeast Philly, home of the Cougars. That's a nice looking building you guys got there. You like going to school? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I heard a no in the back. That's why you're not playing. All right, hey, let's meet the people that are. What up? I'm Nancy. I'm in eighth grade, and I was Lord Farquaad in Shrek. <laughs> yee yee. I'm Katie, and I, <laughs> I'm in seventh grade, and I was Peter Pan in the play Shrek. Hi, my name is Jason, and I was in Shrek. I was donkey. Hey, <laughs> hey what's up? I'm Frank Penzrone, special education teacher. I directed Shrek, and I also coached LeBron to its first baseball championship. I know what it's like to be a winner. We're ready. Hi, my name is Kelly Andreka. I am a special education teacher, and I reside in Northeast Philadelphia with my husband, Denno, and my daughter, Quinn. Hi, I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm an eighth grade English teacher at LeBron, and I also advise the journalism club. I once saw Shrek the musical. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, if you're not in Shrek, you're now the Shrek's biggest fan if you're going to LeBrum. Hey, we got off to a great start today, and art class is absolutely next. Let's play. All right, here's how the game works. Each team selected one player and one player only to draw. The trailing team will go first, so students, get ready. You're going to artist as an artist. You get to select what color you love, but you'll select a card with a word or phrase written inside. You'll have five seconds to draw, and then your teammates will have ten seconds to talk and make one guess, guys. And you're absolutely allowed to talk out loud because there's no stealing here. Thirty points if you get it right. If the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give you a couple more chances, but the points will decrease. Here we go. I'm going into the jacket. I'm going to select two cards. You pick the one that you want to play. Red. She's going red. Okay, you stand behind the drawing board here. You can open up your red. Guys, I'll put the teacher blue back inside my coat. You're going to look at the word. Okay, that's your word. Grab your marker. Five seconds and five seconds only. Jason's like, what is she going to do in five seconds? We'll find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, draw. Wow, actually not bad. I like what you're doing here. This is good. All right, stop. Katie, Jason, are you ready? Ten seconds on the clock. 
You can come up with one guess. Good luck. Ten seconds. The one guess. You're feeling confident? <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Hockey. Hockey's right, yeah! That's right, guys. You know what that means. Nancy gets 30 points on the board. All right, we're going to switch artists. I love that. We're going to get your Nancy. Good work. And onwards to Mrs. Andreka coming up next. Wow, she gets a 30 on that. Jason, what was it about her drawing there that got you going? You, you need to ask her. Okay. Katie was the one who did it? I knew Katie was a smart kid. All right, well, we're going to jump into the teachers here. So here is your card, Mrs. Andreka, right back here. Take a look at your card as Mr. Kelly and Mr. Pinzeroni figure out what's coming up next. Grab a pen. You got five seconds here. Get ready. When I say draw, you're on the mark. Three, two, one, draw. Wow. Nice choice. Five seconds. Okay. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Pinzeroni, good luck. She just, you stopped drawing before the five seconds even up. That's how confident she felt about this. Yeah. Uh, a popsicle. A popsicle. Yeah. Popsicle? Popsicle is right back to back. Art class, man, that's what it's all about. Our two fantastic artists drew it and both get 30 points. It's added, it's 150 to 60, and we have a great game going on. Look. We've been rocking and rolling. Before we go to break, I got more points on the line for everybody right here. Who wants some extra credit? All right, I'm going to ask an extra credit question, guys. Both teams will have one minute during commercial break to write down their answers. A correct answer is worth 10 points, guys. A little bit of extra just on top. Try to get you from C to a B or a B to an A. Here you go. The chemical element uranium was named after what planet? There's 10 points on the line for that. Do you know the answer? I'm gonna give it to you right here when we come back. So I'll see you after the break. Artist, Nancy. It's heating up. It's heating up, Nancy. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from LeBrum Middle School in Northeast Philadelphia. Teachers, I am serious when I say you guys came out on fire today. 150 points on the board. Mr. Kelly's like, yep, that's what we do. We're teachers. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah. And students, you guys just look good, so I don't care what your score is. You're walking out here a million dollars. Now look, I'm gonna, it doesn't, I've seen this happen before, where someone just does something and it becomes an internet sensation. Nancy? Show us what the official Nancy look is. It's the tongue out, double peace sign. There's the Nancy, and everybody's gonna be doing it. Find it. That's it. I'm telling you, that's my new thing, and I'm taking it from Nancy. Look, before we get to break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. The chemical element uranium was named after what planet? Let's see who wrote down the correct answer. And I'm gonna give them 10 points if they do it right here. Nancy, you said... Uranus. <laughs> Uranus, why did you laugh after you said that? You already know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Pinzeroni, you said. Uranus. <laughs> That's the teacher response. <laughs> both of them are correct in getting 10 points on both sides. That's why we skip over that planet when we talk about astrology. All right, guys, the bus driver's waiting. I'm getting out of the classroom. Hop on board. We're taking a field trip. Grab your buzzers, guys. Today, we're taking a field trip to Long Beach Island. That sounds nice. New Jersey. Love that place, too, for some food and fun down the shore. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in first, you get it incorrect. A member of the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. Jen Fredericks from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is asking the questions today. Jason, you you got to pick up. Now, okay, you did. He did pick up. I was like, are you going to play? He didn't even have his buzzer in his hand. Now he's ready. Now he's ready for the field trip. So what do you say, Jen Fred? He's ready. Let's do it. Hi, guys. I'm in Long Beach Island, and the first question is a show and tell. Check it out. I am inside the Country Kettle, which is known for hand whipping. What amazing creamy treat that you're looking at right now. Buzz in if you know it. Jason. Peanut butter? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. Mr. Pizzeroni. Peanut brittle? Incorrect. The right answer, guys. Fudge! 
Fudge was the right one. And it's delicious. Sorry, guys, you could not get that one right. By the way, I love Fudge. Please send it to Fox 29 Studios. Thank you. But question two for Jen Fred. We're going to get this one, Jen, I promise. What amusement ride has a circular rotating platform with molded seats, often in the form of horses, that move gently going up and down while you ride? This is Andrika. A carousel. A carousel is right there. You go get you up to 170. Wow, these teachers are piling on here. Guys, you have one left. Students, let's get this one right here, okay? Lost one, Jen. Take it out. On what New Jersey Shore's boardwalk can you hear the phrase, watch the tram car, please? This is Andrika. Wildwood. Oh, Wildwood is right, and that is a tough one to listen to. Watch the tram car, please. The score is 180 to students, 70. Students, you put up a great score here, but the teachers are just figuring out a way to pile on here with 180 points. Over a 100-point lead as we go into final exam where they're looking to win this thing. Okay, guys, here you go. This is always important, is the topic of the final exam, and today it's all about colors. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to get them 100 points for their score. Guys, you're going to work together as a threesome during the commercial break and write down your answers. Nothing quite yet. First, I'm going to give you the questions. Nancy, what's your favorite color, just so I know before we even go? Red. Red. How about you, Mr. Pinzeroni? Blue. Blue. This could be it. Question one, all about colors. Jisoo, Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa make up what K-pop group that won a 2019 Teen Choice Award for their song, Dede Dadu? What scientist, known for his three laws of motion, developed the first color wheel? And finally, question three, crimson, scarlet, and maroon are all variations of what primary color? There are your questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about this and come up with their answers. We have three students going against three teachers head to head, and they all want that $500. Will it be the Gaga Pit? Will it be for a field trip? Who knows when we come back, the classroom's crowning a champion. But first, here's a look at how you can be a part of this show. Come on. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from LeBrum Middle School going head to head. The scores are teachers 180 on the clock there. Students 70 before we went to break. Guys, we learned all about the final exam. It's going to be about colors. All sorts of different colors. We'll find out how well each contestant knows it. Don't forget, guys, each correct answer is teachers. Each correct answer students will bank you an individual 100 points for your score. We have 300 points up for grabs here in three different questions. Let's see who did it. Will it be students? Will it be teachers? Someone's watching walking out of here with some bragging rights today. Good luck, guys. Jisoo, Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa make up what K-pop group that won a 2019 Teen Choice Award for their song, Dede Dadu? We're going to go to students first. Jason? Blackpink. Blackpink is right. Go for 170 there. They are awesome. If you have not heard them yet, I'm telling you, they're huge. Get on it. Mr. Kelly. Are you a big Blackpink fan? We didn't know our K-pop. We have Okura. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Okura it is, but it's still not right. That was awesome. I could listen to you do that each time. Here we go. Question number two. What scientist, known for his three laws of motion, developed the first, the first color wheel? Katie, we're gonna go back to your seventh grader, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, are, have you learned all about this person? Uh, no, not yet. All right, well then, if you get it right, that means even more. That's how smart you are. What did you say? I said Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton, huh? Hmm. That's right, there you go, 270. A 90-point lead, guys, well done. All right, teachers, let's see how well you did with this one. Also, Sir Isaac Newton. It could be Fig Newton, though. You did you spell She did say Sir Isaac Newton. Okay. They're going to accept that and get you guys back up to 280. We have a 10-point lead going into our final question. Students, you are on the heels of your teachers. You can win this thing. Let's see how you do. Crimson, Scarlet, and Maroon are all variations of what? 
primary color. Students, if you guys don't get this one right, game is over. The check is coming out and being presented to these teachers, and they're going to be the champions of the classroom. Nancy, if you get this right, I want you to give us the Nancy after you're done. What did you say? Red. Red gets it, gives us the Nancy. Okay, here we go. It comes down to this, guys. Hold your horses. Teachers, crimson, scarlet, maroon, for the win, did you say red? We said red. Teachers on the big win is 380 and $500 is going back with the teachers. Come on out here, guys. Students, you guys played a great game. I'm talking two seconds. All right, I got myself. Don't worry about it. Three seventh graders just took on their teachers and had an awesome game. I want to see your school next. We'll see you next time in the classroom. Good job, dude. Jace, Nancy, you rocked it, girl. We'll get him next time. The Gaga pit, man. We got to get it. We got to get that one. Teachers, rock stars, man. Awesome. Hey, everyone finish. Look at that camera. Give them the Nancy. What do you say? Woo! <laughs>